Hi everyone, my name is Eileen Hull and I am here today to present a video to you in partnership with favecrafts.com www.favecrafts.com uh, Today I'm going to show you how to make a recycled soda can butterfly pin and it's really cool and it's quick, easy and a great gift to give. So these are the products that I'm going to use. This is a butterfly die uh, from Sizzix. It's from the Fresh Vintage Collection. And we have our cupcake die, which we're going to use as a little presentation for the butterfly. And next I have a set of textured impression folders that will be coming out in winter of this year. So, let's get started. First, well actually, let me show you the project. This is what I have. If my lovely cameraman can zoom in on this. This, if you will look, is made from a soda can. Okay, and what I've done is die cut it and embossed it and then um, treated it with alcohol inks. And here's our little container that I'm resting it in. So, the first thing that we're going to have to do is die cut the, well, wait, let's first let's do the can. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, what I do is I take a nice sharp set of scissors and just kind of start cutting. I do around the top, makes a terrible noise. And you might want to wear gloves, this can be a little tricky. I have not cut myself yet, but there's still time. Cut off the top. I'll try and get as much of this big part here as I can. Okay, and then I cut it in half. Okay, so we have two pieces of soda can. Now I'm going to take my Vagabond die cut machine, which I love, and I'm going to place it on the die. And I don't know if you can see from this angle, but there are two butterflies. There's a solid one, and then there's one that's cut out. So I'm going to place my metal on here, and make sure that you keep it straight. And then I'm going to cover it with my one plate and finish my sandwich. I've got another plate under here. Okay. Then, let's make sure I'm going the right direction. <laughs> I moved my angle here. Okay, so I'm running it through my vagabond. And wait until you see. We have two butterflies. Now these, you have to punch out these little extra pieces here. And if you can't get every little piece, use this uh, an embossing stylus or some other sharp tool. Okay, so let's get this stuff out of the way. Okay, and this alone would look cool, but I think it needs a little bit of texture. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to emboss, I think just one of these, I think we'll emboss the top. And I'm going to use this lace folder here. What we do is just place it on there, on here. We're going to get our vagabond back over here. And put our plate on top. And run that through. We're going to be using alcohol inks, and those are just a big mess. Normally I don't care, but, you know, I'm trying to make a good impression. <laughs> that I don't have usually green hands. Now this, you can see, this is my nonstick craft mat, and I love this thing. It's a big mess, but it's used and loved. So, now we're going to put on our alcohol inks, and the way that we do that is I make sure I have a cloth nearby, 
in case I get something I don't like. And then I thought for fall colors, I'm going to do espresso, teal, and orange. And you can use any combination that you like. Now I'm just going to put a couple dots on my little applicator here. And I space them a little bit apart. And then I do a little test over here just to make sure they're not really ugly. Which, well, we'll give it a try. <laughs> it could be. This is going to be fallish. So. And if you don't like it, just blot it off a little bit. Try not to muddy it too much though or it's going to look icky. But this is actually going to be cool, I can tell. And the other thing that you can do is take some alcohol, real rubbing alcohol, and if you put that on here, it'll kind of dilute it a little bit. So let's let that dry, and then we're going to go ahead and do that on this side too. And they can match, or if they don't match, that's okay too. So I don't know if you can see but we have two pretty butterflies. One is embossed, one is not. Okay, so here we have our alcohol inked butterflies. Now, let's put this together. What I'm going to use is some tape from Thermoweb. Actually, it's it's the line of glue dots. I'm not sure of the name of it, but it's really cool. And believe me, I have tried many ways of assembling this. I have tried hot glue gun. I have tried, uh, you name it, and it doesn't work. <laughs> this is the best thing yet. Um, what happened with the glue gun was when it got out in the cold, um, it was coming off because it contracts with cold. So this has been the best Thing that I have found so far. Okay, so we have placed a line of tape down the middle, and that's because we don't want to get it in the way of these openings. So then I'm going to bend this slightly and just line it up on top and place it down. And there we have our cool little butterfly pin. Now I'm going to cut another piece of <laughs> thermal web, whatever this is, this wonderful stuff, and I'm going to add a line of it to the back of the pin and peel it off. Okay, And then I just stick it on the back, and it's okay if you squish it down a little, it'll pop back up. And even if this moves a little bit, it just looks like a butterfly would. So you, here you have a pretty little pin. Uh, and I think that this was kind of fun. What I did here to um, make a little nest for it was I took uh, an old shredder that we had, a paper shredder, and I took some old book pages and sprayed them green, cut them up, and put them in here. And then, oh, and the other thing that I did was I added some little pearls here for bling, but you don't have to. You can do whatever you want with them. Rhinestones would be pretty, too. So, there is our project. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a couple other samples to show you of, of ways that I've used this dye. Here is a stack of old map pages, which I die cut in one stack, and then I kind of folded the edges up, and then I wrapped wire around in a couple beads. So that's one way. Um, this is a paint chip butterfly with uh, an overlay of glitter foam board, foam, uh, fun foam. And then this is just plain old glitter chipboard, which I think is kind of cool. It would be a great accent on a scrapbook page. And here is a fun little felt guy. And for his uh, antenna, I wrapped uh, twine from the twinery around the uh, some wire. And then just did two layers of felt. And that is, I think, all I have. Here are a couple other pins. And you can experiment with colors and, and really make it your own. So these are great for gifts. I'm going to make a bunch and sell them at my barn sale that I have in a couple weeks. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'm so happy that Fave Crafts is part of the team. 
and that's www.favecrafts.com. And if you'd like to see more ideas, come to my blog at www.eileenhull.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.